More than two dozen tenants were locked out of this Amherst, uh, this Lockport apartment building by the town's building inspector. It's a story we first brought you last week. The question tonight is, what was the real reason the building was condemned, and why is it still boarded up? News 4's Al Vauter has returned to the scene looking for answers today. He's here with the latest. Al? Jackie, those tenants, men, women, and children, were little, literally put out in the driving rain when their building was condemned by the town building inspector. Now, there was a problem with the fire alarm, but that's been fixed, and now, six days later, the building is still boarded up, and no one is saying why. Tenants are getting back into their apartments, but just long enough to grab a few personal effects. It, this is the second summer that it's happened, where the building has been condemned and we had to stay in a hotel room. Lemetrius Gibson, a father of three small children, one of them suffers seizures and has special needs. When they were forced out of their apartment, panic set in. He gave us 15 minutes to get out the building. We were outside in the rain and he had one. And then I had to actually go back and forth with one of the firefighters or the sheriffs, I, don't, I can't even remember who it was, to go back in the building to get his medicine. Now he and his kids might have to crowd into his mom's one-bedroom apartment. He won't answer any calls. Red Cross won't help us. No, so he has, you know, no other alternative. I mean, if we have to bunch up in my one-bedroom apartment, then that's what we'll do. Jenny Falsetti had to get her medicine and wonders why she's now hearing the building could be shut down for two months. So we went outside. And then we were told to go back inside and to gather up enough stuff for about three days, three or four days. After the building was boarded up, the inspector posted this notice that the building is condemned, but it doesn't list the dangerous violations that led to the condemnation. We asked building inspector Brian Belson what the violations are. He didn't return our calls, so we had to file a freedom of information request at town hall. Some tenants are hearing the steps need repair and there might be mold in the laundry room. Sheila Hutchinson told us she had to have her door repaired and the frame replaced. Because I was so paranoid about people just walking in my apartment. Have you, is there anything dangerous or life-threatening? No. No, it's just little stuff. A whole bunch of little stuff. The building inspector has five days to get back with us. Now, tenants are being advised to contact the New York Attorney General's Consumer Hotline about this controversy. That number is 853-8404. Now, you might recall another call for action involving the Lockport building inspector and the Attorney General. We'll have more on that at 6.